Welcome back. Security consultant Dixon Osage joins us in the studio to discuss the security situation in the country and how it can be salvaged. A pleasure having you with us you. on the program. Now, what can the leadership do to foster better synergy? We've been hearing issues about infighting within the security agencies. Do you think that this will help surmount these security challenges? Oh, well, well, I think uh, synergy is very important in any given nation uh, because no one is expected to take the glory when it comes to national security. Uh, sometimes I've seen some papers flying around, intelligence paper flying around from some departments trying to inform the permanent secretary about an impending strike. Uh, that is a no-no when it comes to uh, national security because uh, the classification of information has to be top secret, secret and confidential. Uh, if we have papers like that flying around, that tells you there's no coordination because it is essential for us to have an effective intelligence network for us to coordinate our security agency. No one should take dominance over the other security security agent, irrespective of the fact that you have information at your disposal. Uh, it's regrettable that here in Nigeria, this high speed of insecurity is, is disturbing, and uh, every day, every time we get to know about strikes here and there, uh, the terrorists and insurgents are, are, are happy about what is happening because uh, they gain publicity each time they strike, and publicity is one of their motivations. So for me, I think uh, there should be an effective synergy between all the security agents and also establish an effective intelligence network so that we'll have an holistic approach towards these counter-insurgency measures. Oh, well, with the threats issued by these insurgents and terrorists recently, some Nigerians are really apprehensive about the security situation in the country. What can the leadership do differently to address the situation and urgently too? Oh, that's, uh, so I'm so amazed that uh, the terrorists are, you know, have the audacity to even threaten the president of this great nation. And a few days ago, uh, you and I could see uh, that some members of the National Guards, Presidential Guards, were eliminated by these terrorists. I think it's right time for the Nigerian government to understand uh, the high level of threat in which we are presently. Uh, you know, when it comes to hierarchy of control, first of all, you must understand that whatever poses threats to human life must be eliminated. You don't substitute your threats, you don't uh, uh, take it lightly. Now, Nigerians, uh, every day from all nooks and crannies, are experiencing threat from this unnecessary human being. So I expected the government to ensure that, to, to declare a full-blown war against these guys because we are in a war situation. If we don't address this as a full-blown war, then I think there's going to be a big problem because they've got into Abuja, uh, this, uh, our capital, and that tells you that these guys, they're ready for business. So the government must, be, must ensure that uh, they declare a full-blown war against these guys, take the battle to this criminal element, go to the uh, government space where they are taking their shelter from, decimate them by day, decimate them by no, decimate, decimate them by night. Don't give them sleep. Don't allow them to regroup and recuperate. Make sure you attack them with speed and momentum. This is national security, the sovereignty of Nigeria is at stake, our national security has been threatened, our military has been threatened, our president has been threatened. So if we don't see this as a war situation, I tell you we'll be, we will just uh, you know, uh, play uh, with this situation. But I must tell you for free, these guys mean business and we must take that business away from them. Now while taking the fight to the terrorists, you know, they are, most of them are living amongst a lot of community members. So the locals will be probably familiar with some of them. So do you think that the state government can do something in this regard? Because I'm sure most of the time they're always saying that they don't have a state police, it come, everything comes from the federal level. So are their hands really tied? I think it's right, uh, are tied. Because one of the problems I've also identified is our centralized policing system. Uh, the, centralizing, the centralized policing system we practice in Nigeria is not, uh, it's not doable for us. I, that is why it's time an incident transpired, we centralized the problem as well, because uh, we are practicing a centralized policing system. Until we decentralize our policing system, give our state governors the autonomy to be in charge of their security. If an incident transpired, the commissioner of police should be responsible, accountable to the state governor to attack that incident with speed and momentum, because when it comes to security, you need to ap apply speed, time, and momentum. So if we decentralize our policing system, it's really going to play a very big role. Then also we should look at, uh, you know, building a formidable military force and security force. The best time to prepare in a war time is peace time. The military were taken by surprise, our security agents were taken by surprise uh, during the uproar of Boko Haram. Now we're getting to a bad entry. Kidnapping is also on the high rise. Nigerians cannot travel by road. Nigerians cannot even travel by train. Nigerians cannot even travel by air. So the threat is on the, on the high rise until 
who declare, declare a full-blown war against this guy. Let them know that the Nigerian military is not the military you talk with. A few weeks ago, we saw the uh, uh, chief of staff of, of uh, Liberia uh, send a congratulatory military to, a message to the Nigerian military saying that the sacrifice of our military made Liberia what Liberia is today. We need to bring back the glory of our military, bring back the glory of our security agent, and make Nigeria a better place. Security consultant Dixon Oshage, it's a pleasure sharing your thoughts with us on the program. Have a nice day.